Good afternoon, sir. Can I please get your address? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Can you introduce yourself? Okay, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you. It is a pleasure to introduce myself to you. I am Subhashni. I am from Prakasan district in Andhra Pradesh. But currently, I am staying in Hyderabad. I completed my graduation with specialization in the stream of BSc Computers in 2021 from Acharya Nagarjuna University. And I have done my intermediate in Sri Katam Raju Junior College, Darcy, in 2018. And I have done my SSC in ZPI High School, Dhekan Konda, in 2018. And I completed my .NET training. In my training, I have learned C Sharp, ASP.NET, ADO.NET, SQL Server, and uh, MVC also. Front end technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript also. And my hobbies are watching movies and uh, chatting with my friends. My short term goal is to get a job in IT, IT sector. And my long term goal is to get a respectful position in that organization, sir. Okay, very nice. So, what exactly C Sharp is? Uh, okay, sir. C Sharp is a server side programming language and uh, it was developed by Anders Heisenberg in 2000. Um, C Sharp is used to we can develop different types of applications, uh, mainly three types, sir. Those are uh, Windows applications, uh, web applications, and uh, mobile applications. Windows applications are two types, sir CUI and uh, GUI. CUI stands for Character user interface and GUI stands for graphical user interface and uh, web, web applications are a combination of three three types are those are front end, back end and database. Front end is nothing but a client side and back end is nothing but a server side. Uh, um, front end is used to visibility purpose sir, uh, like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Um, server side like uh, we write the code sir, uh, .NET code. ASP.NET, ADO, um, Java, Python, like databases, uh, SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, MS SQL, sir. Okay. What is CLI specification? Uh, okay, sir. CLI stands for Common Language Infrastructure, and CLI specifications have four types. Those are CLS and CTS, um, BCL and uh, VES. Um, CLS stands for Common Language Specification, CTS stands for Common Type System, and BCL stands for Base Class Library, and VES stands for Virtual Executive System. Um, yes. Common Language Specification is used to uh, different languages at one language, convert one language, and CTS is used to different types, converts one common type. And BCL, base class library is used to, um, we want our program execution, uh, some libraries in ADO.NET, sir. And uh, virtual execution system is used to uh, execution our in our system, program is executed, sir. Okay. Now, what is SQL Server? SQL, SQL stands for uh, Structured Query Language. It is used to um, connect to our Database to backend, sir, uh, using ADO.NET. So, how do we establish connection using ADO.NET? Connection command, sir. Okay. So, what are the things you will be passing under connection command? Server name, user ID, password, and database name. Uh, what are the types of? There are two types of uh, connecting to uh, SQL Server. So, what are the two modes? One is SQL Server authentication. Uh, the other one is Windows authentication. Right. What is the difference between a Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication? Okay, okay, sir. Windows authentication is by default system will take user ID and password, and the SQL authentication we will give the we will pass the um, password, user ID, database name, server ID. We will give the SQL authentication, sir. Okay. Uh, what is state management? Uh, state management is by default stateless. Um, there are two types, server side, client side and server side. Client side have four types. Those are cookies, says, cookies, view state, query string and hidden field. Server side have two types, sessions and uh, applications. Um, client side have four types. First one is view state. View state is used to, we want a state maintain within the same page. And uh, cookies are used to um, stay, we want to maintain the state within the same page, another page. And uh, hidden field, it's not using in programs, but it's a uh, hiding purpose. 
for string it is also one of the client side state management technique which is used to we want to maintain the state um, one state in another phase and the server side sessions session is a one of the server side state management technique which is used to um, in the in the session state uh, variables are lifetime and application state it is also a one of the server side state management technique and uh, it is used to um, when application state variables are ends when the page is restarted okay uh, what is sql server uh, sql server structured query language um, it is used to uh, we want to connect with back end yeah like how uh, like what are the things which we are going to uh, write like in order to use crud operations like create retrieve update and delete uh, what are joins 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 are three types mm, inner join outer join and cross join um, outer joins are three types those are full outer join left outer join and uh, right outer join uh, inner join inner join is it is used to um, combine the it takes only matching area between two tables and uh, outer join outer join is used to um, it will take matching uh, com matching uh, matching details and non matching details also it will work on our counter on class and uh, left outer join um, in left outer join um, it will take only non matching area from left table and matching area from both tables and right outer join it will take non matching area from right table and matching area from both tables and full outer join it is it will take uh, non matching area from both tables and matching area from both tables cross join it is nothing but a m to n matrix and uh, uh, like uh, it uh, cross join is takes uh, what are the values in our first table uh, each value is mapped with second table what are data types data types are uh, two types those are value type data type and reference type data type value type value type data types are nothing but a pre primitive data types and uh, reference type data types are nothing but a non primitive data types it uh, the value type data type variables are used to we can store the data into directly our memory locations uh, value type data type variables are stored on stack memory uh, example into flow to double long it's like and uh, non primitive data types uh, reference type data type is used to address of the value into their memory locations uh, this memory these variables are stored on heap memory uh, for example string class object complex type data types also right. so uh, what are conditional statements uh, conditional statements is nothing but a decision making statements uh, conditional statements are um, two types conditional branching and conditional looping conditional branching uh, have three types if else switch statements uh, and uh, looping conditional looping statements are two types those are uh, for for each is like uh, conditional branching have our program execution step by step and uh, looping statement uh, have directly all the values can one times execute what is the difference between uh, value types and reference types uh, value type and reference type de- difference is value type it takes only values and uh, reference type data types it takes uh, characters sir what is an array 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 collection of similar data types is called as array and if we want to same type of data types same type of data types in our program we will take array um, it have one drawback uh, that is it will accept only similar data types for example we want different type of data types we will go to class 
class will accept different type of data types. Do you have any questions? Uh, sir, I have any drawbacks in, in this interview process, sir. No, as of now, you gave very nice skills. So, you have very good com, com skills and the technical skills. So, more uh, in case if you want to improve anything, is like you want to uh, learn uh, some more topics extra. If you if you want to learn and even if you want to improve your com skills, you can. So, as of now, the interview is very fine. Okay, so, sir. Thank you, sir. Good. Okay. Thank you, sir.